Right, this is a lecture on the Jordan Normal Form, and it's for the Matrices and Forms course. Uh, the Jordan Normal Form, this is a method that you can use on any matrix that has proper eigenvalues, and it's parallel to the diagonal form. So when you diagonalize a matrix, some matrices, matrices cannot be diagonalizable, but they can all be put in Jordan Normal Form. Right, now to start off with, you've got to look at the block diagonal form. And this is where a matrix, your final matrix, this is the Jordan normal form, is given in each of these blocks. So if we think of each of these blocks as a matrix with a lot of different eigenvalues, so each of these blocks has one eigenvalue. So we've got as many Jordan normal blocks as we need for the number of eigenvalues, which is the spectrum. So, if you have the eigenvalues 1, 1, and 2, so 1's repeated, then the spectrum is just 1, 2. Because we don't repeat them, we're just finding the spectrum is the number of eigenvalues, unique ones. And for each of these blocks, the matrix that it, it represents is the eigenvalue down the diagonal, and just above the eigenvalues, we have the value 1, except on the first one because then it will be outside the matrix. So it goes here. And some definitions for the Jordan normal form is the algebraic multiplicity, so the size of the matrix, so the number across it is, the number of columns. Uh, the geometric multiplicity, so the number of Jordan normal blocks, Jordan blocks. Uh, the minimal multiplicity, this is the size of the largest Jordan block. And we've got an example here to show you. This is what a Jordan normal form would look like, this or this something like that and as you can see we've got different eigenvalues going down here the eigenvalues are 2, 3 and 4 and we can see that they're in blocks because if we put blocks around here we can see we've got two fours, three, and they've got the ones above them as well like that so for this one see the algebraic is 5, it's 5 across the geometric is 3, got 3 blocks and the minimum is 2, because the biggest one is 2 across. This one again, we've got two 5's, this is a five, uh, 2 by 2 block. We've got a 6 on its own, that's a 1 block. And this is a nice big one, this is a 4 by 4 block. So, again we can see the algebraic is 7, it's 7 across. The geometric is 3 again, we've got 3 blocks. And the minimal is the size of the large, so it's 4, 4 across. Right, now we go into the tricky part, which is the method for the Jordan Normal form. First, what you, what you want to do is you want to find the characteristic polynomial, which could be something like x minus a to the n times x minus b to the m. And then you want to find the kernel going up to the minimal... This, now, this is, shouldn't be n, shouldn't be m. It's just going up to the minimal multiplicity, minimal polynomial of each of these, x of a and x of b. And what the minimal polynomial is, is when you get this x minus a to the power you do it to the, the lowest power that's less than n if it goes more than n then you just stop and just use n that x minus a to the power something is equal to the zero matrix so if x minus a to the power 4 equals the zero matrix then you just do it up to n is 4 and n could, n could be 7 or 8 to start off with and you find the kernel, and each time you find the kernel, you find it again and again and again. You're extending the original basis that you find. So you might find two things in the first kernel. Next one you'll find three or four maybe. The next, and you'd keep extending it. And you do the exact same over here. And you'll get little independent vectors. Yeah. The next step, this is the tricky one is when you want to put the vectors, you have to put all the vectors in the same base basis. So all the vectors you found for the kernel of x minus a to the n, you have to multiply the last one by x minus a n minus 1 times. And this will give you a new basis. And you have to keep doing that, change it. you have to change the, the vectors you've found. And the only way I can describe this, this uh, example here if we've had it goes at this in this case it's going up to x minus a to the power three because we, in the first one we found two vectors a one and a two 
The second time round when we did x minus a squared we found another one called b1 and the next time we found one called c1 and to do this we get the last one which is c1 and we want to put it in this form here a b c d as our new basis we let the last one equal d so that last one stays as it is the next one we let equal c so we want it here and we multiply it by the x minus a so this is our matrix a minus the a times the d to the previous one then we go on to the next one and because we found two here we, we only pick one of them only one of them to do it with so we'll do a1 pick this one and it's equal to that but we want to multiply the previous thing which was the c we just found by the a minus a to the c and then because this a2 is on its own because there's nothing else in here that's not been touched already then we can just let that equal b as it is. And then you put them together to create the change of basis, so it, it stack them up, and it gives us, and this will make it that p inverse ap is equal to the Jordan normal form. So we've got an example. Right, we want to find the change of basis, p, for the matrix here. 1 minus 2, 3, 0, 2, 0, 0, minus 2, 1. First thing we want to find the characteristic polynomial, which is this here, which gives us x minus 2, x minus 1 squared, so our eigenvalues are 2 and 1, and 1 is repeated, which is good because it shows us we can show how to do it. So, first thing we'll start with this x minus 2, if we find the kernel of that, so we've got the kernel of the matrix here, minus 2, 2, this gives us this here, and we can put some, uh, find the kernel of that, put that in the form of the x, y, z here, minus x, minus 2y, plus 3z, equals 0, and this one as well, we can work out what uh, z is in terms of y, z is minus 2y, we can put that up into here, which will give it, we can work out what x is then, and that will give us the matrix, so we've got x is 4y, z is minus 2y, so if we let y equal 1, then uh, z is minus 2, What's happened here? Oh, that should be that y should be a z. So x is 4z from here, because we substitute z is minus 2y, or is that times 6, which is minus 8y x. We go to there. So x is actually minus 8y from here, so we get minus 8. So that's our first one done for the 2. Now we want to do it for the 1. So we have a naught minus 1, which is the kernel of this. And again, the same methods, just ignore that for the moment. Um, it gives us the kernel here, which is 1, 0, 0, because we can see clearly that x can be whatever it wants because it's not actually involved. The next one, we want to do it squared, so we're going up because it went up to squared, didn't it? We have a minus 1 to the i squared is the kernel of this. And because there's no x's involved and no y's involved, you can work out, uh, no, and no z's involved, you see y can be whatever it wants to be. So you get 1, 0, 2. So I've put 2, that could be 1, 0, 1 if you wanted, and 1, 0, 0. Now, what we've found is we found these. So we've got a1, I'm letting that equal the vector here. And because that's with the 2, we don't do anything with that. Then we've got b1 and c1 here because see we've extended it. So now what we want to do is we want to get the C1 and let that equal stay as it is, but then we want to change this by multiplying this by this. So we've multiplied this by the, the A minus 1i and this will give us 600. So we're ch changing this to this. So now what we've got is we've got this first vector here from the x minus 2, we've got this one which we created for multiplying this by the uh, a minus 1, and we've got this one which is the final one which we're keeping as it is, and we let this equal it as it is. And we've got p inverse a p equals this, which is correct, we've got the 2, 1 was repeated so it keeps the 1 above there. Now also, how do you know which order to put them in? It doesn't matter. If you were to put this one from the 2 at the end, because this is to do with the 1, this is to do with the 2, they could be either way around. If we put them the other way around, then all it does is it changes the matrix here, 
but you can still see that it's correct.